Hi Capricorn, welcome to Lily Light Tarot. We are jumping right in and taking a look at your January 2024 reading. Capricorn, for the new month and also the new year. Oh my goodness, can you believe it? By the way, I hope you had a wonderful holiday season, Capricorn. And um, let me know, let me know where you're tuning in from. What city, state, country? Are you tuning in from or that you proudly represent and how do you enjoy or how are you watching your reading at this moment are you on your desk maybe you're preparing a meal possibly getting ready for the day i'm always curious to know how my viewers enjoy their messages all right capricorn let's go ahead and begin your top opening row, we have Hangman, Seven of Wands, Three of Swords, and the Lovers. Your bottom row, we have Hermit, Devil, Ace of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Here in your let's let's go ahead and take a look at your uh, the hangman. This is in your position of strength. All right, strength or some type of experience that will strengthen you in the new month of January 2024. So the hangman, we see a shift in uh, a shift in perspective. Okay, something here about how changing your viewpoint may allow you to grow and take you to another stage, to another level, to another place. Sometimes you may not recognize how this could enhance you. Um, sometimes it's hard to let go of what you think you've always known or what you thought was meant to be. But I see there's like new insight that you're going to be gaining here, Capricorn. New insights, a change up in your routine, a new understanding. All right. Something here where you're like, hmm, this may do. This may do. Let me get your clarifier. Oh, okay, this card just wanted to pop out. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we have the Eight of Swords. Somewhere that you're struggling to see. It could also be somewhere that you were afraid to go or to consider. It may not be as scary anymore. You may not let that fear hold you back. You're surrendering. You're like freeing yourself in this month. Okay. Also, this is also a shift in perspective. No longer letting the self-imposed restrictions keep you back you're no longer imprisoned to your thoughts to uh, you're not enslaved to like this idea or it could also be like overthinking because the hangman almost feels very like uh almost like f like a fool energy where they're just like huh, you know like uh like very free flowing very free like open mind optimistic i guess i would say like more optimistic so i see that experience happening for for a lot of you capricorn in uh, the Seven of Wands, in your placement of release. Ooh, release. Now, this is what you are going to be releasing or advice that you should consider releasing. And we have the Seven of Wands with the Three of Pentacles. This may have to do with a job or position that you're in that you always feel like your back, your, your back is up against the wall. Whether you feel like you don't have any say, whether you don't have any creative control, maybe you don't have any um, clear sense of direction of where you're going to go next or how you can advance. This may cause you to like let go, like just quit fighting or resisting and you just like quitting, resigning, moving on. I'm also picking up here, Capricorn, that some of you, you may be trying to force something to 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 come together in your timing or in your way and you may just feel like again like the hangman you're just going to release that expectation or release that hold that you have where you're like okay no it's, it has to happen this way or it has to go this way and you're like you know what i'm just gonna let it be like i'm just gonna let it go so there's something here like i do see that you're just you've held on for so long and you're just like i'm not fighting for this anymore your three of swords is appearing with your the queen of wands in your area of what to gain, okay? What you're going to gain. And we have the three of swords. There's some type of healing that I see taking place in this new month. But 
the three of swords th this is also some type of um cleansing process transformation but the transformation is due to you not being satisfied you are definitely not satisfied with something so strongly to the point where you're like okay i'm going to make a change i'm going to you know change to the point where i'm going to love the outcome We have the lovers with the Ten of Swords in your area of job, career, or projects. Ah, interesting. Okay. The lovers and the Ten of Swords. Hmm. Oh, hold on. I'm using the wrong deck. <laughs> I was like, let me pull a clarifier. Okay, hold on. So the lovers, but I feel like that was no coincidence why I was drawn to pull this. Nine, Ten of Swords with Nine of Wands. Okay. The lovers... The nine of wands. Hmm. Or the nine of... With your job, or again, your, like your per, your projects, your business, your career, Capricorn. There's something here that you are just so loyally committed to. Something that you are going to want to see all the way through to the very, very end. <laughs> okay. To the very, very end. Like you are willing to commit to this to the end. Now, everyone's, you know, project and career path is different, but it's, it's giving me the sense of you see, you seeing it worth your while. So it could be maybe a corporation, a business. You're like, okay, it's going to be worth it. I'm going to invest in this business. Um, this may be a side business or a hustle that you're investing in. You're like, it's my baby project, my project, right? It's your little baby. So there's something here that you're just like, I'm going to invest in my education, in this role, in this position. I'm going to invest in this community, right? There's something here that you're like, I, I, I care too much about it to give up on it is what basically is what is coming through. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this. Double, double interesting i don't think i've ever seen i don't think i've ever seen double double show up in the same placement i've seen like double cards appear but this is like matching each other so this is in your area of relationship hermit double hermit some of you this is showing inner work inner shadow work this is also a reflection like you may be seeking uh like who you are or what you have to offer it's almost like a mirror image like who you are when it comes to like romantic relationships friendships or even business connections you know what you have to offer so you're looking for that same thing that can offer you what you have to offer right so like if you know you're like loyal committed if you're genuine you're looking for that same energy too like you want them to be loyal to you and genuine and authentic and caring right but i'm also seeing here too what is looking what you're looking for capricorn is looking for you interesting what you are looking for is looking for you and what's interesting here in your area of challenge we have the six of wands so this relationship i feel like is very community based with all these people here surrounding the six of wands for those that are creatives entrepreneurs artists or even maybe in your niche or in your field something here like what you have to offer there is a demand or there are people looking for what you have to to give they want to receive you have advice you have a specialty you have a technique you have a craft you have something to share they are looking for that you have a story to tell to write right there's an audience for everything and for everyone so what you seek is seeking you keep that in mind i feel like that could be your 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 affirmation here in january the thing that i seek is seeking me as well right hmm let's talk about the devil here in your area of personal development clarified by the the knight of swords mm, something about 
don't be too hasty is coming to mind. It may be tempting to say something, especially if you think about when people are angry, right? You just say what's on your mind, say what's just on your tongue, but you may regret it later. So there's this energy of like, um, don't do something that you may regret. Don't jump into something that looks tempting, but may not be worth it in the long run. The devil energy. This is very... I, I'm also sensing this is like some type of attraction too. You may be attracted to the idea of something, but again, by you reacting to it impulsively, it may put you in a bind. You may think like, oh, I'll just do this one time, or oh, I'm just going to go after it. It's like, uh, be careful, because this is also diagonal from the hangman, okay? Seeing it from a different point of view or a different perspective seeing the true underlying reality and it's also diagonal from the three of swords be careful be careful okay because it could hurt you it could set you back it could deceive you it could work against you so it may be also our ego our habits our addictions maybe also what's on our mind just keep that uh in check here under your personal development okay you, uh, the ace of oh my gosh the devil is coming up again okay so we have the ace of wands in your area of unexpected surprise <laughs> okay unexpected surprise we have ace of wands clarified by the devil okay how fitting because the devil's like right here let me pull another card what, what's going on with this devil energy the ace of wands it shows creative breakthrough okay it shows fertility growth expansion uh so some of you i mean this torturous energy like i mean torch like the fire okay i see like both double fire so there may be a fire sign coming in your life um could be you know another capricorn another earth energy um oh that's crazy how this whole deck just okay hold on i'm gonna read it in the reverse that it came but i'm gonna read it in the order okay hold on i'll, I'll i'm gonna read it in reverse but i'll have it upright so it's not too confusing so we have five of wands in reverse queen of cups oh and two of pentacles Okay, because I wanted to clarify what this devil energy was for the Ace of Wands. And this is, again, in unexpected surprise. So, something here. Hmm, it's almost like when you are at your biggest breakthrough, all these temptations appear. That's what this is showing. You are so close Okay, because the thing about the Ace of Wands that people don't understand, yes, it represents that breakthrough. It represents th this new opportunity, this beginning, okay? Uh, something that was going to expand or grow. However, you had to keep up with it. That's the thing. You had to keep the fire alive to keep it strong. You can gain the wand, but the moment the flame is gone you had to put energy into getting that fire rekindled again so with the devil here i feel like there may be a situation that's going to try to steal your light dim your light tempt you to uh eliminate your light okay or lower your light and i say that because again this came in reverse so the five of wands yeah sometimes we can see that energy of uh resistance but i see this like someone's trying to like fight you or someone's trying to block you okay for me, I'm seeing this as like a coming together in the upright position. They are working together to bring something and to build. But be, being that it's in reverse here, Capricorn, it's like someone's trying to like build, uh, bring you down. They are. They don't want to see you be established. They don't want to see your your glow up. They don't want to see you advance, move up. Okay. And then the Queen of Cups in reverse. So emotionally, like I feel like there's like jealousy. There's bitterness. Uh, they don't want to see you happy. Um, and then the two of pentacles, throwing off the, the balance, causing chaos, causing frustration. So there's something here too, like in your environment in January, don't be thrown off by whatever 
is trying to throw you off course, whether it's a person, whether it's a situation, whether it's your anger, okay? Uh, whether it's, um, we all know what can trigger us. And there's something here where it's like, Capricorn, you can do it. This can happen. But don't let these setbacks prevent you from keeping that flame alive, all right? To keep, to keep that flame burning, because that's the thing. The devil energy, it's very tempting. And metaphorically speaking, it could say, oh, Capricorn, that's such a burden. Why don't you just give me the wand and I will put it in my other hand and keep it, you know, burning for you. But that's the thing. Once you do that, you're entrapped, okay, towards this devil energy, metaphorically speaking. So you don't want to give them the power. You're so close. You're so close. And doesn't life feel that way? When we are so close, everything just <laughs> feels like it's coming apart. All the curveballs are thrown our way. But do not allow that unexpected surprise to throw you off your path permanently. Or your vision or your goal permanently. You may have to fight through. Okay, Get over that challenge to fight for the thing that you love. Now, we see the Ten of Pentacles in your area of um, near events, okay? We have, uh, or like near future, Ten of Pentacles with the Page of Wands. Ooh, some type of treasure chest. So, the Ten of Pentacles, we see that there is financial security, comfort, some type of success coming your way, no longer needing, uh, no longer feeling need like needy like you're gonna feel like sat satisfied and connected and uh, taken care of and this may be a new again job could also be a new passion you're finding like oh this passion this may be the thing that carries me through this new adventure may help my sanity right there's something here where you you find the jackpot the treasure and you're like this is good this is the, the very new thing that i needed now, as we look in your area of challenge, we have the Six of Wands. Oh my gosh, the Ace of Cups. It's so crazy because the last two signs, they had the Ace of Cups in the same placement. Who was it? I think it was Cancer and Scorpio. And now you, Capricorn. It's like you have the Ace of Cups here in your area of challenge. Okay, so we have the Six of Wands. Uh, so give yourself a pat on the back for how far you've come along. But also... Acknowledge all of the challenges that you've come through and how powerful and strong you are. Reward those little efforts. Okay? Reward those, those little victories. Um, I do see success coming your way. And don't be afraid to give yourself credit. You know, like, again, don't dim your light. But give yourself credit. Like, yeah, I did that. Or I can do that. Oh, maybe I should pursue this. Right? Because you will succeed. Some of you, that is... I would feel like an obstacle of yours, like you don't think you can make it or you don't think it's possible, but it's possible. In your area of uh, advice from spirit and future outcome, we are looking at eight of pentacles and the sun. Applying yourself, working towards development. I also see some type of a skill refining or... Um, something to, to, that you're pursuing, like invest in that. Invest in that because it's going to create beautiful, positive, abundant paths opening your way. So something about like strong investments, okay, will lead into something that you're going to be exact, like so like thrilled about. It's going to be exactly what you, you, you needed and what you're going to love. So January, very interesting um, reading coming in for you. Make sure you stay tuned and subscribe for more Capricorn. And until then, stay well and be blessed.